When things aren't what they appear to be, then you're right where you ought to be. It's time to test perception against reality. It's time to get the picture. And now, here's the host of Get the Picture, a guy who's always sharp and in focus, my buddy, Mike. Welcome to Get the Picture, the game show where an eye for detail can make you a winner. Let's get started by meeting our players. On the orange team, we have Leslie and Bryce. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Leslie, you enjoy dancing, and you're going in a competition this weekend. Mm -hmm. Now, where is this competition? At the Ramada Inn now, on International Drive. <laughs> okay. Now, what, what type of competition is this? It's a dancing competition. Um, Dupree, they're from California. Okay. I so. mean, I, what I, I should have been more specific. What type of dancing? Is it like doing the worm or... Well, I'm going to be doing a ballet and a jazz in it. A lot different than the worm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck. Uh, Bryce, how are you doing? You're, you're a baseball player and a basketball player, yes. right? Now, what position do you play in basketball? Mainly pitcher and catcher. In basketball, you do? They have pitchers and catchers. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You play pitcher and catcher, and then in basketball, what positions do you play? Guard and forward. Do you prefer one sport over the other? No. So you're getting ready for baseball season right now? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, good luck to you. On the yellow team, we have Melanie and Eddie. How you guys doing? Hi. Now, Melanie, you collect flamingos. Yes. Yeah. So that's sort of an interesting thing to be collecting. When did this start up? Well, it just started, like, two years ago. Uh-huh. How many flamingos are in the collection right now? I don't have that many. I ha only have about 10. Any live ones? No. <laughs> okay. Eddie, you are an announcer for the school TV station. Yes, I am. Uh, tell me about this school TV station. TV no, it just, it just reads the announcements in the morning for, you know. And it's done on TV? Yes, it so is. So every classroom, you, get, you see your picture yep. reading off the announcements? <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So, you, so you're used to this. We're yeah. ready to begin round one of Get the Picture. It is Connect the Dots. Those dots up there represent a picture. Your job is to figure out what picture those dots represent. And I will be asking questions. The team that buzzes in first with the correct answer gets $20 plus a chance to connect dots in the square of their choice and a chance to guess the picture. You ready to play? Yeah. All right, let's put our first picture up on the board. There you go. And the clue is it's a thing. And the first question. If you preserve a cucumber and vinegar and spices, what do you have? Orange team. A pickle. You have a pickle. $20. Pick the square. Six. Number six, please. Power surge. <laughs> Not until round two do you come down on the floor, but that's okay. Power Surge number one. It's a chance for you guys to get an extra $20 and a chance uh, to see an actual portion of the picture. This Power Surge is called Don't Stay Out in the Sun Too Long. We're going to be showing you some solarized pictures of uh, people, and you have to identify five of them in 30 seconds. Are you ready? Yeah. That's enthusiasm. I like that. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Put them up there. Debbie Gibson. Correct. Sigourney Weaver. Correct. Take a guess, guys. Mmm, excitement. That was Sarah Gilbert. Sarah Gilbert. $20 for the yellow team since you guys were unsuccessful at that power surge. Okay, so the score is now 20 to 20. We'll reveal an actual piece of that picture. Yellow team, you get a chance to guess it. Let's do that now. Now, if you guess this right, you get $50. If you guess it wrong, you lose the 20 you just made. Would you like to take a guess? It's a thing. No. No guess. Next question. Motown is short for Motortown, which is a nickname of what U.S. city? <laughs> Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> On land, speed is measured in miles per hour. How is speed measured? On the water. <laughs> I 
knots. We are flying today. <laughs> what did Balky from the TV show Perfect Strangers do for a living back in his home, my post? Is it me? Is it me? <laughs> shepherd. He was a shepherd. John Goodman sweats off 48 pounds at the local gym a day, then gains back 13 pounds eating a hot dog. How much has he actually lost? Orange team. 35. 35 pounds is correct. It's a pretty big hot dog. 13 pounds. Pick a square. Eight. Number eight, please. A little bit more detail. Would you like to take a guess? No. Okay. In the famous biblical story, Jonah is thrown overboard into the sea. Then what happens? Orange team. He gets swallowed by a whale. He gets swallowed by a whale and is regurgitated days later. That's correct. Twenty dollars. Pick a square. You could pick a square. Ten. Number ten. Does that help you out? No. No, Mike, it doesn't. Dried grapes become raisins. What do we dry to get dates? Prunes? Uh, prunes, that is incorrect. Oh. Yellow team. We dry dates to get dates. <laughs> we get a smart Alec writer on this show, don't we? When he wasn't flying around in his cape battling evildoers, what newspaper did Clark Kent write for? The Daily Planet. Talk to me, guys. We got Americana going up here. What's going on? Yeah. The Grapefruit League and the Cactus League belong to what professional sport? Yellow team. Baseball? Baseball is correct. Spring training. Twenty more dollars. Let's pick a square. Number nine. Number nine. Let me give you, let me give you this clue one more time. Maybe it'll help you. It's a thing. <laughs> Narrows it down for you, doesn't it, huh? No. Saturn is known for its rings, and Mars is often called the red planet. But on what planet is the Miss Universe pageant held every year? Orange team. Earth. Earth, that's correct. <laughs> Twenty more dollars. Pick a square. Eleven. Eleven, please. Power save. All righty. Here's a chance for you guys to get an additional twenty dollars. This is called Follow That Rhyme. Now, Follow That Rhyme is a sequence game played between you and the video board that tests your memory. There are three different things that you can see on the board. You will see first one, then two, then three, then four, and then you must repeat back in sequence the things that you've seen. Now, to win this power surge, you need to repeat eight in a row. Got it? They got it. <laughs> Let's show them what three things they'll be seeing. Okay, we got fettuccine, red bikini, and Lamborghini. <laughs> We're crazy on this show, I told you. Repeat those to me, just so I can hear you say them. Fettuccine, Lamborghini, and a red, red bikini. bikini. You got it. Okay. <laughs> Eight in a row. Try your luck. Let's put them up on the board. Red bikini. Red bikini, Lamborghini. Red bikini, Lamborghini, red bikini. Red bikini, Lamborghini, red bikini, red bikini. Tension mounting. Red bikini, Lamborghini, red bikini, red bikini, Lamborghini. Nice. Red bikini, Lamborghini, red bikini, red bikini, Lamborghini, red bikini. Woo. Red bikini, Lamborghini, red bikini, red bikini, Lamborghini, red bikini, Lamborghini. Okay. Here we go. Red bikini, Lamborghini, red bikini, red bikini, Lamborghini, red bikini, Lamborghini, red bikini. 
I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Get a Lamborghini at the end. Twenty dollars goes to the yellow team. Yeah. <laughs> you guys get applause for not doing any work at all. How about that, huh? That's a good game show. You got sixty dollars for the yellow team. We're going to reveal an actual portion of the picture. Then you guys will get a chance to guess what it is. Okay? Let's do that now. It's a thing. Take a guess. Remember, if you guess right, you get fifty dollars. If you guess wrong, you lose twenty. Yeah. No. Next question. What is the sun? What is the sun? What is the sun? <laughs> Didn't even get through that question. That buzzer means time is running out. What we're going to do is reveal this picture one square at a time until one team can buzz in with the correct answer. Let's do that now. Yes, yellow team. Some shoes. Are they shoes? That is correct. A pair of shoes. Go ahead, you can give her a high five. That's $110. Yeah, you know, our team with $80 more to play coming up round two. Oh, feeling good this round. Feeling very good. Come on, bang. Set to begin. Let's recap the scoring. Orange team with $80. Right behind the yellow team with $110. We're playing dots in this round. Dots. This is how you play. I'll be asking questions that will require two, three, or even four answers. Okay? Now, each group of responses is worth $40, plus as many lines as there are answers, plus a chance to guess the hidden picture. There is one power surge square up there, and don't forget, if you can't supply all of the answers for a given question, the other team can buzz in and steal. Okay? Ready to play? Yeah. We're ready to play. <laughs> Looks like our first puzzle is up in place, and your clue is it's food. Food. Name the three types of medals awarded to Olympic competitors. Orange team. Gold, silver, and bronze. That is correct. $40 <laughs> for the orange team. Three lines, please. Seven and eight. 8, 13, and 12, 13. Okay, one more line to make a square. Name two of the hosts of MTV's Yo! MTV Raps. Ed Lover, Fab Five Freddy, Dr. Dre. <laughs> yeah. Thomas Edison was responsible for over 1,000 inventions. Name two of the most famous ones. Yellow team. Phonograph. And. That's correct. Light bulb. No. And. Yep. Well, no. no. Which one? Light bulb. I'm sorry. Is that right? Light bulb? That is right. I'm sorry. Is it right? Yeah, Mike. It's right. Incandescent light bulb. And a phonograph. And I got the answers right here. I can't even get them right. Two lines. What are they going to be, guys? 7 to 12. Okay, and one more. 2 to 7. Okay, let's reveal that square. It's a food. Now, if you guess it right this round, you get $75. If you guess it wrong, you still only lose 20. You want to take a guess? No. Okay, that puts you in the lead, by the way, at 150. In his heyday, Babe Ruth terrorized every team in the American League and a few in the National. Name two major league teams that Ruth played for. Okay, he played for the Boston Red Sox, the New York Yankees, and the Boston Braves. Next question. Probably the coolest thing about being the president is getting your face plastered all over U.S. currency. Name three presidents who appear on U.S. money. Orange team. Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, and Thomas Jefferson. That is correct. $40. <laughs> for the orange team, we have three lines. What are they going to be? Two, three, three, eight. Three. Eight, nine. Okay. Let's reveal that square. No. No guess. Okay. You can't tell the players without a program. It's true. But you should be able to name the four, def four defensive positions on... You should name four defensive positions on the baseball field. Orange team. Pitcher, catcher, first baseman, and second baseman. Correct. Forty more dollars. <laughs> Mm 
Nine four fourteen. Nine? Nine fourteen. Thirteen fourteen. Twelve seventeen. Okay, twelve to seventeen. Seventeen eighteen. Okay. Now you had a chance to connect another box up there. You got you to make sure you look at that. We, let's reveal that one square they did re connect. Power surge! <laughs> Woo! Come on, okay. Here's a chance for you guys to get some extra cash. It's called shuffling for pieces. You take out these diskettes right here, you shuffle them down. Object is to get this circle in the number, in the red part of the number, okay? Now, you have 30 seconds. At the end of 30 seconds, for every one that you've got here, we will reveal a portion of a picture on a 3x3 three three grid. We've got a brand new picture up there, okay? 30 seconds, you take a guess after that. So get a couple up there before we begin. 30 seconds on the clock. On your mark, get set, go! Okay, you, you need to get them down here. You, you want to try to get these ones down here and not clock it off. Okay, we got one here. Go! Buzzer means time is up, and unfortunately, you knocked this one off. But we got two here. We got number five and number four. Let's reveal those now, please. Would you like to take a guess? Dolphin. dolphin. Is it a dolphin? <coughs> it's a dolphin! <laughs> 40 more dollars! <laughs> you guys didn't need much detail on that. Nice work. That brings the score to 240 points. 240 for the orange, 150 for the yellow. Back to the puzzle. Actually, we're going to reveal that power surge square. You guys are going to take a guess if you want. Let's do it now. It's a food. No. Okay. Name two TV shows that Lisa Bonet has starred in. Orange Team. Cosby Show and Different World. That is correct. $40. <laughs> Two lines. Thirteen and eighteen. Okay. Um, fourteen and nineteen. Okay, let's reveal that square. Food. Food. Yeah. No. No. no okay. You probably know lots of people who speak English, but not everyone does. Name four languages other than English, spoken by at least 100 million people worldwide. Yellow team. Spanish. That's one. French. Two. Italian. I'm sorry, Italian is not one of the choices. We have Spanish and French. I need two other languages spoken by at least 100 million people worldwide. Dutch. Dutch is incorrect. We have Arabic, German, Japanese, among the many. It's okay. More to play. More questions. I got plenty of them up here. Most professional boxers fall into one of the major weight divisions, except for George Foreman, who falls into several. Name three of the weight divisions in this sport. Orange team. Heavyweight, featherweight, and lightweight. That is correct. <laughs> Forty more dollars. I need uh, three lines. Nineteen and eighteen. Okay. Eleven and twelve. 11 to 12. And 16 and 17. 16 to 17. You guys really don't want to see that upper box up there, do you? Let's reveal that square down here. Food. Take a guess. Chinese food? Is it Chinese food? <laughs> Chinese food is correct. <laughs> There's a language that's spoken by 100 million people worldwide. Chinese food. $75 for you, and that buzzer means that time has run out in this game. We got 150 for the yellow team. That's a good score, but 395 for the orange team. You're today's winners. Okay, Henry J. 
We got 150 to split between these two. What else are they gonna get? You'll each take home a collection of outstanding video games from Natsumi, including Shadow of a Ninja for the Nintendo Entertainment System and Amazing Penguin for the Game Boy. But wait, that's not all. There's British Knights Athletic Footwear, BK's the latest, greatest, baddest, most awesome sneakers around. BK's British Knights. And back to you, Mike O'Malley. It's the end of the game for one team, but not this team. Bonus round coming up. Stick around! Come on! Hello, and welcome back to Get the Picture. With today's winners, the orange team has advanced to the bonus round of Mega Memory. Here's how you play. We'll give you 10 seconds to memorize a 3x3 three three grid of pictures. Then we'll cover them up. As I read off a clue for each picture, you need to hit the corresponding button on the Mega Memory keypad. You get $100 a piece for the first six that you get. Then after that, you'll be playing for these great prizes, Henry J. Mike, today's grand prize package includes Schwinn, new bikes, new thinking. Visit your local Schwinn dealer and see Schwinn's latest selection of bikes and fitness equipment. Then take a picture of your new bikes with your new camera, the Vivitar 320Z compact autofocus camera with built-in power zoom lens, beautiful 35mm pictures from scenes to portraits from Vivitar. Get all nine matches and you'll bathe yourself in luxury at Mariner's Pink Shell Beach and Bay Resort in Sun French, Fort Myers Beach, Florida. Enjoy swimming, sailing, and snorkeling on Florida's Southwest. Gulf Coast Beach. Good luck, Orange Team. Back to you, Mike. Thank you, Henry J. Okay, now the theme of today's Mega Memory is electronics. Now, you guys will take turn guessing as you get 45 seconds to do so. Okay? Let's show them the pictures, guys. Help each other out here, and I want you to yell out loud and clear. You'll need one to take snapshots. Go! Nine, camera right. A high tech adding machine. Yell it out. Two, Two calculator right. A push button channel changer. One. Remote control one right. Portable stereo with a handle. Eight. Eight, that's wrong. Portable music belt pack with earphones. Five. Five, Walkman right. Sound and picture tube for the living room. Seven. That's wrong. Heats up food in seconds. Three. Three, that's right. Microwave. Shows rented movies and tapes TV shows. Seven. Seven's wrong. Complete music source for the home. Eight. 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 Stereo, right. Portable stereo with a handle. Portable stereo with a handle. That's wrong. Six. Sound and picture tube for the living room. Four. Four. TV set, right. Shows rented movies and tapes TV shows. What number? Six. I'm sorry, you guys. You got, you got eight. I'm not sorry. You guys got seven pictures. Tell them what they want, Henry J. Congratulations. You each received $600 in cash plus the Schwinn Frontier Mountain Bikes. Nice job. What are you going to do with the money, aside from spending it? Put it in the bank. <laughs> Put it in the bank. I like this. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Get the picture. Good work, now, stay right where you are. You got the picture was taped before a live audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida.